Mmm, baby, what's up? Raptor here. Welcome back to Men of War. Mm. Anyway, this is a chance for me to be funny, act like an idiot, all that good stuff. Bald in 13, I'm gonna be balling and I'm gonna be hauling ass. Because I'm the Japanese. Oh, yeah. He wanted to be Commonwealth. I was going to originally do USA versus Germany. But hell, nah. He wants to be versus, well, it's going to be uh, Chinese tea or, you know, Asian tea versus uh, Earl Grey. So, yeah, we're going to get balling here. He had a horrible PC performance as well. But as most of you know, to get going in this game takes forever. Because people uh, don't want to join games. And they don't want to join 1v1s. And they're always picky about the map and all that other stuff. But anyway, speaking of picky, let's pick our Hago. And we'll haul ass and uh, see if we can cut him off. So you'll see it chug a little bit because of his connection. His ping's good, but, you know, PC performance kind of varies on everything. I'm trying to hear. Oh, I already hear a group of troops. Group of troops. Alright, so we'll see how good he is. I'm gonna rip him up. Now, he's a little bit of a noob, as I said. So we're gonna go right for the heart of the noob. Let's see if we can cut him off. We're gonna go left and right. And try to bring a rifle. Oh, there we go. Oh! Missile lock! There's a dud. Oh! Run, bitch. That's right. Took out half a squad. Oh! And the other half is mine! Ha ha! Hago rape train, baby. Damn right. I missed Keanu Reeves, but the Hago, mm, can't be messed with. So we're capturing the left leg. So basically the reason I do roads all the time is to show everybody kind of the basic setup of what you want to do with each army. It's easy to get going, it's easy to show, it's easy to play. Everything about it is easy. Metal War Assault Squad 2 is coming out very soon. Yours truly is in the beta, baby. That's right, so I'll show you as soon as that comes out. So, uh, yeah, so as the Japanese, it's really cool to call out individual riflemen too because they are, they're cheap. And they're comparable to the Soviet riflemen in terms of you can just throw wave and wave of men... Well, man, uh, machine, and tank. Oop, oh, hold on. Okay, where are you going with that? All right. Uh, you can, you know, just roll everything in front of the enemy, and uh, you'll still be out on top. So for those of you who are newer, I'd recommend... Oh, no, you don't, baby. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, that's it. That is it. He got, he's smart enough to call out the AT. I knew he would eventually doing a drive on this move. Showdown. Oh, I won. Hell yeah. Taking out all that cover. Oh, he's going to come up from behind us now with an AT. What the hell? He's sneaking up on us, that bastard. Oh, no, you don't. Go ahead, damage my turret. I don't care. Yeah, you better run. Uh-oh. Now, the cool thing about this tank, too, is you can screw around. I can already buy, like, six more of these things, so... That's the only time it's useful for the computer to drive. Oh! <gasps> Did he steer? Oh, that's it, baby. That is it. We're bringing out our chi -ha. Actually, if we bring out our chi the Michael Jackson tank... We've got our uh, Keanu Reeves. We've got our uh, Chiha 57, Chiha 47. Uh, differences in those. I was just listening to see if he. Oh, actually, that's not a Daimler. It's a, or it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a Daimler, not a Tatrayer, because I thought originally. So that tank's gonna explode, which means that man next to him is gonna get killed. Unless he crawls out of there, which it seems like he's kind of doing. I don't know why he's still shooting at that tank. It's basically done. Ooh, machine gunner took out uh, took out our, our boy there. We're going to roll up quick, and we're also going to bring up a couple of... Well, you know, we'll bring up a whole thing of recruits and spread out. Yeah, baby, yeah. You know, I used to play this game a lot. I used to be real nail biters, but I, you know, the beginning game is where it's most important. Well, the thing is, when you're doing 1v1s, factions that are quick and cheap are really the best. But then again, you could have a lot more... What the... Better experience with the, uh, oh, I really wanted to bring out that nice tank. Oh, well. We'll have to kill him with our superior uh, AT rifle then. But, uh, like I said, it's probably best to start with this small, like the cheaper factions so you can take losses. The Americans are like a good mix of the Japanese meets late round, mid-round Russians. 
and uh, the Germans are kind of in a class of their own in terms of specific weaponry. Um, everybody, again, has their own thing, but uh, speaking of their own thing, we're about to give them a taste of our own thing. The semi-automatic, what the hell's the name of this thing? The uh, Type 97 AT rifle, so let's go ahead and give them a little, little kiss. Mm. Oh, what's that, baby? Mm. 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 Yeah, baby, we ain't getting out of that alive. Yo, daddy. All right, machine gunner's already on loading. Oh, he actually got in a good position there. Nice. All right, we're going to move back to the left then to secure our left flag. And we'll let him have the center, and we'll come clear it out another day. So the cool thing about having that position, and we should have taken this with machine gunner, but I went with the hago just to exploit that quickly. We're going to go ahead and uh, nade up with the suicide Japanese kind of bonsai charge here, even though it's not really a bonsai charge. That'll keep them distracted while we're tossing nades. If you pick individual men like that while you're charging across the field, that will distract them. And they will not know what to do. We'll talk. Oh, come on now. Alright. So it looks like he's uh, in a pretty good spot there. Can't let him capture this flag though. So we're going to go ahead and break up our Hago again with some little infantry. No big deal. He's already lost an armored unit, which is a pretty big loss for the uh, Brits, actually. They have they don't have very affordable weapons, but what they do have is some really good guns with some pretty good armor. Alright, so Hago is coming up again. We're going to push him up here. He's going to uh, slow down a lot when he gets up here, trust me. But he uh, has his momentum going for him, so that helps. Alright, so we'll let him uh, peek over the battlefield as we move up. He's going to unload. Really, it's an armored car with dreads. There you go. Position's cleared. There's probably some guy over here. Yep, there you go. And I don't think these guys will be able to take him out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so. You've got a uh, typical uh, position here. Uh, behind those rocks. Really good for the uh, enemy to take position up there as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send over. I think that's our AT support guy. Not tech support. AT support. Looks like the Brits are crawling up along the fence line and they're not going to have a good day here. That actually is AT support again trying to get close to the tank. Would have been better to come down here, but then I think he still would have been spotted. Alright, coming up next is another Hago. Eh, you know what, we're going to bring up... Let's bring up... Oh, hold on a second. He's probably going to get popped here. He's not smart enough to manually fire. The computer won't fire through the haystacks, and uh, so he moved up too close. All right, so we're going to bring up our paratroopers, and we're going to come bring them in, come up from the flank, and also we're going to have recruits come up the straight end here, and that'll be the end of this match. So what we're going to do is get our Hago down from there so it doesn't get killed, and uh, we'll let the paratroopers kind of take the uh, front initiative here. And our recruits will run around the backside of the road, and we'll do kind of a big pincer move here. Recruits will come up first to give line of sight to the units, the uh, the uh, paratroopers will move up to uh, to finish off any of the stragglers. Not good to keep them in a gr tight group like that, but with the tank behind him, there's not a problem. So he's focused there. So we're going to bring up our uh, recruits right away. Now there is a machine gunner there, and I'm going to try to move up to take him out with the tank, baby. Alright, let's move up quick. Move up in small groups. There's the machine gunner, and there's some more Brits, gonna start nading if we can. I don't know why that guy's not shooting. And just spread out with nades, just put them wherever they're needed. Looks like we got a pretty good run here. So we're gonna get our Japanese troops in a better position. That probably wasn't a good position, that thing shouldn't have exploded, but then again he fired at him, so... All right, so recruits are in here. We've got uh, kind of a defensive position up there. Uh, paratroopers, of course. I'm being a little sloppy. Rape train, by the way. Boop. All right, and uh, let's see. Our men will heal up. We've got all three flags again. He'll c probably come back with armor, which means we're going to probably want to bring up our AT rifleman. And a good spot for him would be right up meow, I think. He can hide until the action breaks out, and he does. He does have his Type 97, so we'll uh, pull out with the tank, 
and we'll uh, have our men spread out a little bit on the hill and have some men kind of stay behind. There are a few men over here. We'll put our machine gunner up on the tower. That's always a good opening move on this map. Any machine gunners on towers can be really effective. Especially early game, you can stop a push. All right, so it looks like we've got our Con uh, Cromwell moving around here. So it looks like he's actually going to try to... Well, now we're going to hit him in the side if he's going to do that. Mm. Looks like he won't... Oh! Not very smart with that tank, young lady. You're gone. Goodbye. All right, we'll just keep getting close to it. Stun locking. Oh, you bitch. Oh, and a victory for us. That's a shame. Let's just see if the uh, old tank explodes here. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs>